Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can bulk create videos for social media or for your own YouTube channel. This is an updated tutorial as I'm also going to show you how you can bulk add custom backgrounds. So before we get into the process, I want to show you some examples of channels that are using this strategy and you can bulk create content for a brand new channel or for your existing channel, for your business and so on and so forth. Take this channel, for example, they have over 20,000 subscribers. They are only doing shorts and you can see their most popular short has over 800,000 views. We've got almost 700,000, almost 400,000. And all of these are following a simple strategy where they just add text and a pretty background image. Here's another channel example. This one has almost 30,000 subscribers. If you look at their shorts, their most popular short has 1.5 million views. And again, it's following a very simple strategy. These are motivational, inspirational quotes. They have like a title in yellow and then they have the quote after it. And this is something that you can so easily bulk create using Canva. Here's another channel, over 64,000 subscribers. Once again, super simple. It almost looks the same as this one here. They've got a title and quotations and then a quote. So doing something like this won't necessarily make you a lot of money, although you do make some money with shorts. It's just a very small amount but it is a great way to build your audience. I have been experimenting for the past few months on some brand new channels using only shorts, and I have been getting hundreds and hundreds of views on my shorts on a brand new channel versus when I put a long form video and you only get a couple of views. It takes a lot longer to grow a channel if you're only doing long form videos, but you can reach a larger audience faster and build your subscriber base faster if you start off with shorts in addition to your long form videos. So we're going to use ChatGPT to create our content for our videos. You only need the free version of ChatGPT to do this. So first we're going to create a detailed prompt and it will go something like this. I want to create 100 nutrition and diet related facts that will be used in short social media videos. Keep each fact concise and easy to understand with no more than 25 words per column. Do not repeat any facts. Make each one unique and engaging. Here's an example of how I want the table to look. So of course this is going to vary depending on your niche or your business, but for this example, let's say I'm a fitness coach and I want to create some weight loss and diet content. I might have column one, fact one. Column two, skipping breakfast doesn't save calories, dot, dot, dot. Column three, it often leads to overeating later in the day. So the idea is that column two contains half of a fact and it's interesting enough that people will want to keep watching to find out the second part of the sentence. So of course you can change this up depending on your niche, but this is going to give you 100 unique, interesting and viral worthy nutrition and weight loss facts, for example. Of course, do some research, see what is going to work best for your niche. And asking ChatGPT to do it in this way is going to give you this table so you have a column one, two, and three, and that makes it easy to copy and paste into Google Sheets or Excel so we can keep track of our facts. I have created a completely free ebook that contains all the steps you need to know on how to bulk create videos. If you click in the description below, you can download my free ebook by signing up to my mailing list and it will be emailed to you directly. So you can just copy and paste this prompt directly from the ebook into ChatGPT and the ebook contains pictures as well. So it's a really easy guide that you can use when doing this process. So you can see here that I asked ChatGPT to create these facts for me, just like I showed you. And here is the table of over a hundred facts. We're going to go ahead and highlight to copy this table. Then you're going to right click copy or control plus C on your keyboard. Now you can use Microsoft Excel if you have it. But if not, you can go to docs.google.com slash spreadsheets and then create a new spreadsheet. So from here, all you have to do is click on the first box, A1, and then control plus V. And that is going to automatically copy everything from column one here, column two here, and column three here. Now, of course, depending on what you are creating, you might have more columns or less columns. So I have a hundred facts here that I'm ready to use in my videos. So now we are ready to create our video template in Canva. So you can sign up to Canva using the link in the description below. 
In order to use the bulk create feature, you will need a Canva Pro account, but if you don't have a Pro account, you can still use this method. You'll just have to copy and paste the text manually. So we're going to click here on templates at the side, and then let's click video. And we're making a mobile video for this, so let's click mobile video. There are over 20,000 templates you can choose. So you can go through and if you like one, you can go ahead and use that template, or you might just click here on create a blank mobile video. Now for this, I do want to show you how you can add custom backgrounds. So it's not 100 of the same video with the same background. So the first thing we're going to do is click on elements. Up here, type in frame rectangle, and then click see all beside frames, and just try to find one that, like this one here, that's a long portrait style rectangular frame. So I'm just gonna position that to the top and just go like that so it fills the entire frame, because this is going to be a template for how we'll drag and drop backgrounds later on. Now I'm going to type in rectangle and then just click here where it says quick add rectangle add a shape. I'm going to position this so it's something like this, change the color to black, then go here and change the transparency level and just something like that. This is for our text so that the background isn't going to take away from what's here. Now, once again, under elements, I'm gonna type in pin, see all. You can just choose a little graphic, add a little decorative element if you want. Then we're going to go to text, add a text box. So I'm going to put the title, which is weight loss tips. Right here, you can change the font size. You put 80, and then you can change the font type as well. You can reposition the title if you want and change the font color as well. So now is the important part. Let's click on add a text box. And this is going to be part one of our fact. So reposition that to the top and change the font to whatever your desired font is and the size as well and the color. So we're going to have part one will appear here. Now we're going to right click, select duplicate and drag this down and put part two. So this is really important because what this means is we have our spreadsheet here. We want part one to be pasted here and part two to be pasted here. So what I recommend doing before you bulk create is to go to your spreadsheet and let's just do the first one. So let's just double click and copy part one of your fact. Just click on it, right click, paste. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's going to fit. This is making it a little tight because some of our facts might be longer than others. So I'm gonna change the font size to 65 and just wanna make sure that you're going to have enough space to paste all of the different facts and so it's not going to look strange. So this is going to be part one and then we're going to copy part two. So once again, just change the font and reposition things so it's not going to look strange. We could even click here on elements and type in divider. If you wanted to put a cute little divider here. So it kind of shows there are two parts to this video. So now at the bottom, you can click and drag to adjust the length of your video. I'm just going to make this six seconds. You don't want it to be too long, especially because it's just one small fact. So we're going to add an animation to this. I'm going to click on the first text box, then click animate, click on text, and we're going to click on the typewriter animation and make sure under animate, just on enter is selected. If you have the pro version, you can make it go faster or slower. A lot of these viral videos, what they're doing is a strategy where the first part of the fact comes on the screen for the first part of the video, and then the second part comes on, but very quickly so that people have to watch the video twice in order to read the fact. It's kind of an annoying strategy, but it results in great retention because people are watching the video twice in order to understand what's in the video. So that's a strategy people are doing. So if you wanna do that strategy, click on the second text box, click on typewriter again as well. And now what we have to do is change the element timing. So on the second text box, right click, select show element timing. So what we're going to do is drag this so that this is only going to pop up 
the end. If we scroll this little playhead to the beginning, press play, skipping breakfast doesn't save calories and then you have to wait, it often leads to overeating later in the day. So now we're ready for my favorite part, which is the bulk create. So what you're going to do is click here on apps and under search Canva apps, type in bulk create and then click here on bulk create to use the bulk create app. Again, you need the pro version of Canva to do this. If not, you're going to have to individually copy and paste the data and export individually. So you can either upload the data or enter data manually, which I prefer to do. So click on enter data manually. And here you can see we have two different columns. You can just click clear table. What we're going to do is paste the data from our spreadsheet. In my case, I just want to copy column two and column three. So I'm just going to highlight this, then control plus C to copy. Now I'm just going to click on the first box here, control V to paste. We have this third column here, which I can just right click, delete column. Now, very importantly, you must give a title to each column. So here, I'm just going to write part one, and here on the second column, part two. Now, there is a way where you could add custom images. You could change up the background by clicking here on add image. I'm going to show you that at the end of this video because it's a little more complicated. So right now, let's just focus on part one and part two. Then we're going to click here on done. So now we're going to click on the first text box. You can right click, select connect data, or select connect data at the top here. We want to connect this with part one, okay? Click on the second text box, connect data, part two. So now we're going to click continue, and you can create pages based on the data you entered. So you can select which ones you want to generate or just leave select all enabled and then click generate 100 designs. And in seconds, Canva will generate all 100 designs for you. So now at the bottom, click on grid view and you can see we have 100 different videos that we're ready to quickly add custom backgrounds to and then you can go ahead and publish them. So one way to quickly add backgrounds, let's just click on the first video, then go to elements, then click on photos. And for example, this one's about breakfast. So I would just type in breakfast and then I would just drag and drop the image. And just like that, I have a nice background image and we can see the text fine because we did this little text box. This one protein, and you can just quickly type in something that's relevant to whatever fact is in your video. If you wanted to edit the background a little bit more, you could just click on it and then just reposition as you like. So if you do it this way, it'll only take you around 15 seconds or less to replace the background and make it custom. Another thing you can do is on the frame, click here on color and you can add your own background color, click on the color wheel or even add a nice gradient background as well. And to download your designs, just click here on share and click download. Make sure MP4 video is selected. We're just going to click on all pages. If you want to download individual ones, you can select those. And make sure to select download pages as separate files. This is a Canva Pro feature. Otherwise, you'll have to download each video individually. Then click download. And this is going to download a zip file that contains 100 videos. So you can go ahead and individually upload these on your social media. Also make sure to add your own logo. Do this before the bulk create because it's always a good idea to brand your own videos. Now, if you're asking about music and how to add music with shorts, I do recommend you take advantage of adding trending sounds and trending music within YouTube or Instagram or TikTok. It's such an easy process. Once you upload a video, you can select whatever song you want that's trending and that's going to help get you more views. To show you how you can quickly bulk add background images. The easiest way that I have found to do this is to create a new folder on Canva. So on the side here, click on projects, then you can click add new folder and just rename your folder to royalty free images or whatever, then drag and drop whatever background images you want to use. So all of these images I have got off websites like Pexels or Unsplash. What I like about Unsplash is that you can click on wallpapers or nature or whatever. And you can just click here on the download icon and it will 
instantly download and keep you on the same page so you can really quickly bulk download images. All of these are free to use unless they have this lock icon, in which case you need a paid membership of Unsplash. Otherwise, you can just click download and you could just go through here and download whichever images you think you want to use. And then you would go ahead and right click upload and just upload all the images in bulk. And so from here, when you're using the Bulk Create app in Canva, you can click on add image, just give this a title, put background. Then you can click on the plus icon and locate the folder that you just made. So Pexel's background images, and then just click on a different image for each one. And then click done. So now we're ready to connect it. So once again, I go ahead, connect data. I've connected my quote and then to connect the background image, I'm going to click on my frame, click connect data, then click background then click continue and then generate my designs. And just like that, you can see it has added a different background to each image. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to download my free ebook, which I've linked you to in the description below and in the pinned comment. So you can have a really easy step-by-step -step guide on how to repeat this process. And I'll see you all in my next tutorial.